Okay. Hello, everybody. Um, this was supposed to be a happy um, presentation about uh, a magical place, but unfortunately, this magical place does not exist anymore. So now it is more of a requiem. I'm talking about one website, so I've been, uh, that, that here is um, uh, Bukowski on the internet. I'm only talking about one website and one forum. They were connected uh, to each other. Um, I, I uh, came to uh, know David and Abel through the forum. Uh, it gathered great people. Uh, the domain name is um, bukowski.net. But when you go there nowadays, all you see is a, uh, do we have a, um, uh, I have it full screen. <coughs> um, this is a screenshot, we will have screenshots. Um, all you see is this um, redirecting. Uh, Hanna is the uh, now name of the former founder and runner of the uh, Bukowski.net. Huh? No, oh, okay. <laughs> and uh, uh, it, it used to be a man, uh, uh, but uh, two years ago um, it came out, uh, it changed uh, her sex, uh, and uh, around that time she decided to uh, change her whole life and leave everything behind. Um, so this applied to um, Bukowski.net, unfortunately, um, the same. And do I? OK. So now, uh, where is the plus sign so I can make it bigger? Um, us usually, you, uh, I have, it, I have yeah. it found it. Let me, let me have a look. No? OK. Doesn't matter. Um, it's not. It's not important that you can read every every text. Um, I will read the main parts for you, um, but this is one too far. Okay. So this was when uh, when he still uh, yeah no trans uh, transformed into into Hannah uh, already, and uh, this was the post saying this forum is closing at the end of 2020 or very early 2022 uh, 21. Um, then he made a, um, a calculation what it would cost for somebody to uh, overtake it and run the forum, uh, which would add up to um, 1,600 a year. Um, in the same thread, somebody asked, does this include the database? I will show you all of these things later because I've uh, been to the uh, what is it? Um, Wayback machine, right? And and here she says no. Um, Bukowski.net site is going to stay, so it is um, not uh, affected from the uh, forum thing. Well, that was my remark. Uh, I'm I'm Roni here, and I posted this when uh, he, when she announced to uh, stop the forum. See, I was funny from the start. Um, OK, uh, two years later, somebody came and um, reopened the forum. For Bukowski Forum is open again, and uh, managed to gather a lot of the uh, old uh, people who have been there. But uh, one must admit it is not as lively as it used to be, but it is here um, again. Ah, okay. Um, and meanwhile, and this is why we need to go through the way back machine, this spring, um, Hannah uh, also gave up the domain, um, not gave it up, but did, didn't run the site anymore. So all the things that I can show you uh, from the site is the past. And here you see how um, the web egg machine is structured. 
uh, you can choose a year, and uh, these black uh, things show how many uh, screenshots of one page uh, was done on this date. And I have a few for you. This is how the starting page of uh, Bakowski.net looked last, the last time when it was still online, this at the beginning of this year, just to give you an impression, because we are now um, making a, a time travel. This was in the same starting page in 2016 at the time when it was uh, a, a big party and um, most active and uh, really um, a place where, where so many people got together. Uh, it was really fantastic. Now we go further back in time. This was the starting page in 2009. And um, you can see from the design uh, that times have changed. Um, in even if you go back for ah okay I I wanted to show you what is on the menu just just uh, um, just examples we have a works database a timeline manuscripts art some more things this is just uh, past pro toto partis pro toto uh, and here this was the at the very beginning, this was the uh, absolutely killer, the FBI files of Charles Bukowski. Um, and and uh, down here you see uh, the latest post, uh, posts on the forum. So they were, in a sense, interconnected, even so the uh, domain was different. And this is, this is 2006, beginning of 2006. Um, and it was the layout at the very beginning. It has had the charm of something, um, you know, a DIY style. And uh, uh, that's how it started. And, uh, well, it's beautiful. So here again are the FBI files, because now we get into the content. When you, when you clicked on this FBI file menu, you, you got this side. Uh, this page, and here you can see. Oh wait, uh, I'm not in there. Uh, here, here you can say it says uh, click here to begin to view the pages in order. Oh God, directly to these pages, and then you have uh, sim sim several uh, subjects like um, addresses where he lived and jobs that he had all in a pretty list. You can see uh, I've, I've marked here something um, which I can't r quite read anymore. No, it is not. 9.45 is the, le the left column where I have this red mark. Uh, to 10.47, we read 21.22 Longwood Avenue. And um, the, uh, the knowers uh, will see, oh, it was a fairly long time that he lived in her, his parents' house after he split up with his father or had a fallout with him. Um, uh, here, uh, the other thing uh, down there is the jobs that he had. And here I have marked U.S. Post Office. That was when he was a postal clerk. Uh, the first chapters we can read about in a uh, post office. And we get the exact dates here, freely served, from uh, April 52 to April 55. So um, on this side, you were able to uh, find a lot of facts about Charles Bukowski, also his life, even though I uh, must say that the FBI files, even though they are FBI files, are not always reliable. We had to uh, correct some of the government's work. Uh, this is just uh, so you can see another page of the FBI files. And uh, let me see if I have marked something. Oops. Uh, no, this is, yes, yes. Uh, here's arrested for drunk on 
May 14, 1948, June 12, 1949, August 6, 1951, and so on. Um, so it's, uh, we always read that he uh, got caught by the police uh, for drunken driving and had to spend a night in, uh, in jail. And here we have proof. We even know the dates now. Um, Okay, next, next thing was um, the um, entries in the, in, in the database. And even as, at this early stage, this is in the, in the top right corner, you can see uh, the year. Um, you cannot read it, but I'll tell it to you. This is still 2006. And we had already 5,599 entries in the database. You could search it by book, by magazine listings, by year of publication, or through the uh, full text search. And he gave the sources where he got the info. This is the section with art. All these pictures we've, we've been talking about um, Tokovsky's attempts to uh, paint. And these paintings have been collected on this side. Uh, um, and again, this is a screenshot from the, uh, from the side as it looked in 2006 when it was beginning. Another th uh, thing, uh, Miss Chalany. So now I jump back to 2016 where I've, I think I've been before for, uh, to, to show this um, uh, starting page. And if you, uh, you see from, from the layout, the menu uh, got killed. And here are some other things that are inside. Uh, these have been uh, in, in on the site uh, in 2006 already um, as, a, as a section, but I have jumped to 2016 so you can uh, see how it developed, um, even though I am uh, showing other things than we have just seen, so uh, you don't see the same thing all the time. Uh, this was the manuscript section, and it it starts with the first entry in 1959. Okay, it is only one poem, but uh, you, you can see the ambition behind it. Um, if you click on the name of this uh, poem, you got uh, the, the manuscript, in fact, the original uh, typewriting of Charles Bukowski as a facsimile. And uh, this applies for, for the whole thing. Um, you can see later uh, it developed more because there was more oeuvre. This alone is the year 1970, um, of which manuscripts, facsimile, have been available. Here we see the year uh, 1974. If you imagine what was there, like a treasure trough, it is, uh, it is really amazing. Once you um, recognize this, uh, it was like, uh, this is my heaven. I want to <laughs> absolutely, I, I, I don't have words for it. I just show you more. If, if you uh, clicked on any of these poems in the list, again, it looked like so. And uh, in 2016, it had already also uh, meta information, like collected under an alternative title, alternate title, uh, appeared in, and uh, here the, uh, he names the magazines uh, in which it was before it was collected in books. Um, in many cases, even the page uh, number is given. 
Okay, now let's go to the section with the forums. I think I, I jumped back to the uh, other thing um, uh, later on again. But this is how the, uh, the title page, the starting page of the forum uh, looked like. And you, s you can see here, by the year 2016, it had uh, 149 and something thousand messages and 5,910 members. It was online 10 years uh, at this time. And here's uh, some of the uh, sections that they have books, magazines, publications, biographies, memoirs, unpublished and uncollected, then some media. And this is uh, a funny thing. Uh, no, it's not a funny thing. It's, an, it's a service. Name that poem. Um, I will get to this later. Uh, here, it, here it is. Um, yeah, but this is where I, where I jump back into the non-forum um, area, but show you what was uh, another feature that was in the Bukowski.net site. Uh, it was a timeline of Bukowski in a synchronoptical view. You, uh, you can see here the columns. It is events, publications, addresses where he lived, readings, including audio and video uh, recordings, uh, jobs and Miss Chelany and Los Angeles. This is for um, to get the time uh, in context. And uh, of course, uh, on in the rows, uh, you have the years. So what we, hear, what we see here is 1940. Uh, it is a very early stage in Bukowski's career. And already we have so many entries that are pure facts for researchers to look at and find out where did he live, from when to when, if we have the date, but at least we have the year. And for later times, this is uh, 1960 beginning. Um, we have even more, and you can see here uh, Flower Fist and Bistral Whale, his first um, uh, A publication, which means it's a book, actually it's a, it's a chapbook. Um, here, for example, we see in the Los Angeles column, the A Los Angeles population reaches 2.5 million. Um, so we get a an image of the, you know, it's, uh, it's different if uh, LA looks like it does today or if it has 2.5 million. Um, another thing in the Los Angeles thing, at the Democratic Party National Convention in Los Angeles, John F. Kennedy is nominated to run for president. And uh, here we have a curious thing under Miss Chelany, Underwood Standard Typewriter, by which is meant for a great lot of times in Bukowski's life, we even know which sort of typewriter he was using. Uh, this is not only for nerds. Um, to have the uh, face of the how how this typewriter is printing helps us in some cases when a manuscript is not dated to uh, to date it at least in a window of some years. And here is uh, noted the uh, death of Jane Cooney Baker. Uh, dies uh, 122, this is uh, January 22, 1962. Okay, back to the forum. Uh, I'm ending with this, but wanted to give you uh, an 
insight of how valuable it was uh, as an as a source of information and how crazy people uh, the inhabitants of this um, forum have been. We are now in the section name that poem and uh, everybody could come and say uh, I, I, there's a poem about something, let me see what is uh, written here. Uh, in which year did Bukowski wrote Democracy? Bad grammar, uh, uh, but the um, the question is clear. Mention of Hackford's documentary by one of Bukowski's ex-girlfriend or friend. Uh, I will go into the first one. It's it's funny. Uh, the the question is, or the headline is, the poem where he leaves his shoes at the beach. Now find the poem. Uh, we didn't? You're expecting we didn't? Excuse me. Come on. Here. Um, he's, uh, he's asking here, in the poem he follows a car full of teenagers to the beach and sees a lot of uh, couples at the beach and leaves in a hurry, forgetting his shoes. I can't remember the name of it and would like to read it again. It's referenced in a story in Tales of Ordinary Madness. Thanks for the help. Now, uh, the next answer, right next to it, it was no long guessing. Um, I think it's even at the same day. Um, no, it was the, the next day, sorry. The, the answer is, uh, in between, he, he quotes from the question. But I only read the answers, you have heard the question already. Um, it seems to be the race from burning in water, drowning in flame, but he didn't leave his shoes on the beach in that one. <laughs> Next. That's another poem called The Singular Self, um, where, he, where the guy asks for the same poem, but uh, describes uh, other thing. <laughs> and here where it is a uh, reference to a story uh, of in Tales of Ordinary Madness, that's right. A hilarious, great poets die in steaming pots of shit, which is the title of that story. And it ends with, by the way, both poems were first collected in It Catches My Heart in Its Hands. By the way. So you get a small glimpse of the nerds. Of course, not all 5,000 members have been like that. But it's... Uh, it, it was really um, the place to be, and uh, as I said, uh, Abel and David and me, uh, we have been regulars there, and at times we were live on spot when uh, new things have been found. Abel has, uh, and, and David the, both have uh, first, um, published or given out their findings in this forum. They shared their uh, their knowledge. When, when they found something new, it was like, uh, I have this, or let us discuss of... Um, Abel started a uh, thread called uh, Dispelling Bukowski's Myth. Um, it was a fun time. Here is uh, just the last thing. Another uh, chapter in the forum, unpublished and uncollected. This is where things have been shared. This is one of the threads in it. Invisible City, number two, June 1971. Five Bukowski poems, three uncollected. Uncollected means it hasn't been in a book uh, up till then. And as you can guess, they not only show the cover, all the poems in this uh, magazine are to be found here. Uh, because not every one of us uh, can go to the university library and, uh, and look for a magazine that was running in uh, 200 copies. So I end with this. Yes. 
I end with this uh, because it was just to give you a glimpse, and I'm sorry that I'm already over 20 minutes. But, uh, well, I hope you are impressed. <laughs> Thank you. <coughs>